Big congratulations to last week's winner, Comic Fam. Enjoy your honorable mentions list. What's good, Comic Fam? We have so many more hot comics to discuss. This is the video where we pick up from where we last left off with more books that had single price record breakers. You have to be aware of because they are moving quick. And I'm on the line with Jem from Gem and Collectibles. How you feeling? What's up, Tom? You know, it took me a couple of videos of us doing this to realize that this isn't a top 10 list. We have over 15 books to discuss, and this is the more fun list for me because it's those one-off, those bangers, and we get a lot of variety of different books. Hit the subscribe, slap the like button. We got a giveaway on deck, and we need your support. We're going for 10 likes this video. Can we make it? I suspect we can. Let's start at the list with Tales of Suspense 52, the first appearance of Black Widow. We got Natasha leading the list. We also have the death of the first Crimson Dynamo. And we have the runner-up, a 6.0, back in May, going for $2,053, up 30%, selling for $2,667 this week. People are all hyped about the Black Widow movie, especially finding out that it's going to be available for free on Disney Plus soon. It's going to come out eventually. I was going to say, is this movie ever coming out? I can't wait to see it. I love what they've been doing with the TV shows. I want to see a movie on Disney Plus from the MCU. Moving on to the next book on the list, we have Iron Fist 14, the first appearance of Victor Creed, a.k.a. Sabretooth. We're chatting Sabretooth's first appearance with a 32% increase for the 6.0. Back in March, could have been secured for $380, selling for an all-new high of $500. And I want to remind the comic fam, these comics are in order based on the increase since last sale. That percentage is what's placing them on this list and in the order that Key Collector Comics put them in. Use that code TOM101 to unlock a free two-week subscription of the best comic app in existence. We really appreciate them going all out, not just stopping at the trending comics of the week, the hot comics of the week, but the single-sale record breakers that are blowing the minds of collectors every seven days. Moving on, we have Conan the Barbarian, issue 23, the first appearance of Red Sonia, often cited as a cameo, but she appears in over 20 panels in this issue. Anyway, we have a 9.2, which sold for $675 in May, up 33%, now selling for $896. Why do you think this book is trending right now, Tom? I think members were shocked to find out that Red Sonja was in active development for the screen. And they were then stunned when they found out that she was already cast. We have Hannah John Kamen, who's going to be taking on the role of the invincible Red Sonja. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We're going to be doing a giveaway. We have Red Sonja Superpower number one, the Davy Go variant. As well as the Virgin, we're going to do a set to one lucky winner who comments. And let's talk about some Swamp Thing goodness, some Constantine love next on the list. That's right. We have the Saga of the Swamp Thing, issue 37, the first full appearance of John Constantine, a 9.8, sold for $2,775 in May. It's up 33%, now selling for $3,700. We've been talking about Constantine since the start of the Channel Comic Fam for three years, whether it be the CW show, his introduction to the Arrowverse, the cancellation of his show, but the saving of the actor being incorporated into the Arrow and the Flash. Then Justice League Dark Rumors, bad robot getting involved. Now Sandman featuring the descendant of John Constantine. Our chain-smoking anti-hero is here to stay. Let's take a look at some FF love with the first appearance of Silver Surfer in Fantastic Four 48. A lot of you guys might have been wondering where is Fantastic Four 48 on the Hot 10 list. Well, here it is. We only had one big sale, so it didn't quite make that video. But we have the first appearance of Silver Surfer, first cameo appearance of Galactus with the CGC 2.0, which sold for $1,040 back in March, up now 35%, selling for $1,400. Comic fam, the MCU may be moving quick, but we still have years to go before we see the Fantastic Four, the first Marvel family hit the screen. I suspect that there will be lulls that this book will have. So don't get discouraged by these record breakers. You may still be able to secure a copy at an affordable rate if you're patient. Next, we got to talk about a book that just doesn't get enough love, man. The Forever People number one, Jack Kirby Goodness, the first appearance of the Forever People, first mention of Mother Boxes and the Anti-Life Equation, and the first full appearance of Darkseid. 
That's right. We have a 9.6 back in 2019 selling for $1,200 up 35% clearly because of the Snyder adrenaline shot this comic book got now selling for an all new high of $1,623. And next on the list, we have Jem's favorite Fantastic Four cover, Fantastic Four issue number 50. Johnny Storm goes to college. It's funny, we had (laughs) FF48 on here, and this book is taken off too. It's the third of the Marvel Cosmic Trilogy, the OG trilogy, which sold for $853 in April in a 6.5, up 36%, now selling for over a grand with $1,160. The second appearance of Galactus, the third appearance of the Silver Surfer, and the first appearance of the Ultimate Nullifier. Next on the list, we have the first Marvel family, Fantastic Four number one. But wait, we're talking the reprint. That's right, the Golden Records reprint, which came with a record narrating the issue. And we're reporting on a CGC 9.8 sale. This book sold for $2,900 back in 2012. It's up 38%, now selling for four grand. Keep in mind, comic fam, you can decipher whether you're dealing with a first print or this golden record reprint very simply because there's no price on the cover and on the inside, there are no advertisements in the issue. We have next on the list, another blue chip book, but we're talking about a first print this time, Journey into Mystery, issue number 83, the first appearance and origin of Thor. We know Thor Love and Thunder is coming. We recently saw photo set pictures where Thor has gotten himself back into shape. We have a CGC 3.5, which sold for $10,800 back in 2018, up 39%, now selling for $15,000. I think the movie anticipation is causing some real hype for this comic book, but I think it's also a combination of what the major blue chip Marvel heroes are doing in the comic space right now with records being outdone by the day. Members are starting to shake in their boots that they may not be able to secure their favorite hero in an entry level copy. A 3.5 hitting $15,000 is astounding, especially considering you could have secured a 3.0 for under 10K just a year ago. Next on the list is a newcomer. We have Jungle Action Issue 22. This is the first appearance of the Soul Strangler and Black Panther versus the KKK. A 9.8 of this issue is super scarce, and it cannot be understated the impact this storyline had in Marvel Comics and in culture. It's one of the best stories Marvel has ever released. A 9.8 back in November went for $500, and it's up 40%, selling for an all-new high of $700. And Jem, that seems low to me. Yeah, a Bronze Age semi-key in a 9.8 under $1,000, I think it's undervalued as well. Moving on, we have the Uncanny X-Men issue 50, the second appearance of Polaris with that amazing Jim Steranko cover. Steranking all over that cover, just saturating it with so much surrealism and sexiness. We have a 9.4 in April going for 720, up 43%, now selling for $1,028. It's not just about the Keys comic, fam. It's not about the second appearances. It's not even just about Mutant Spec. It's about the classic covers. And speaking of keys, Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 50, the first appearance of Gem Mint in a comic book. That's right, the first appearance of the Gem Pin. But this book has so much going for it. Classic cover, classic Spider-Man story, Spider-Man No More, and the first appearance of Wilson Fisk, the Kingpin. We have a CGC 7.0, which sold for $1,800 in February, up 47%, now selling for $2,640. This comic book is blowing up, and funny thing to note, I have a reprint of the Overstreet Price Guide number one, the very first one that debuted in 1971, and it's listed ASM 50 for $1, which is about $7 if you were to account for inflation. So it did take a couple years before this issue really took off. Now, let's take a look at this other first Marvel family key book that is largely unappreciated, We have FF issue number three, the first team appearance of the Fantastic Four in costume. And you can't forget the first appearance of the Fantastic Car. I actually own this. I think it was like a CGC 2.5. But anyway, a 4.0, which sold for $1,532 in January, is up 49%, now selling for $2,280. 
So we were chatting about Alpha Flight to no end over the last couple of weeks. Only fitting that we would start talking about the Star Jammers eventually. X Men 107 making the list, the first appearance of the team, also the first appearance of the Gladiator, leader of the Imperial Guard. That's right, the first appearance of the Star Jammers. You got Cyclops' father in outer space doing whatever space pirates do. We have a CGC 9.6, which sold for $1,646 in May, up 56%, now selling for 2565 now, is it the multiple team appearances that are featured in this comic book pushing this price up? Is it the mutant spec? Or is it because of Wolverine's debut in the new Fang costume? I'll let the viewers decide that while we chat about a goodie. We're talking about Legend of Zelda issue number one next on the list. The comic book inspired by the hit Nintendo video game with a classic Nintendo cover with a rumored TV or movie project that is currently in development. I'm all about Link. And if you guys follow me on Twitch, you may have seen that I recently played Zelda A Link to the Past on the Super Nintendo from beginning to end, beating it for the very first time. Anyway, a CGC 9.8 sold for $1,200 back in April, and that's up 58% now, selling for $1,900. And I do apologize to our editor, Zoro, whose birthday is this week, by the way, because I told him that I would uh, be hunting for this comic book for him. And now that I see the prices, I think I'm going to be getting you a pretty low-grade copy, my man. But I digress, because we have to talk about Dr. Doom next on the list in Fantastic Four issue number five. His first appearance and origin, and such a classic cover with him right in the center. You can see how many Fantastic Four key issues are on this list alone. Even reprints are making the list because collectors are just preparing for their debut. The 1.8, talk about your entry level, sold for $4,000 in December, and it's up 65%, now selling for 6600 With these types of gains, you know, an increase of $2,600, it's a good reminder to the comic fam that if you're looking to make a good investment, it's not necessarily just about the hope that the book is going to spike. It's about getting in at a rate that is competitive. It's about really making most of your money with an affordable entry level purchase. If you were able to secure this book back in December, you'd already be up $2,600. Even if we do see hints of Dr. Doom, the entry level that saved you over 2K is really where the money is to be made. Keep that in mind and let's chat about Iron Man and Submariner number one, grossly underappreciated and undervalued. The story of two tales becoming one, tales to astonish and tales of suspense merging to become this issue. It's a monumental time for Marvel Comics. The CGC 6.0 sold for $358 in April, and it's up 40% now, selling for $500. Look at Marvel doing a new number one, trying to cause some ruckus with the fandom, getting them excited about that single digit on the cover. Now, another Respected number one, we have TMNT issue number one, the first printing, the first appearance of our turtles, Donatello, Leonardo, Raphael, and Michelangelo, the first appearance and death of Shredder, the first appearance of Splinter, and a first printing of 3,000 copies made. We have a 6.5 back in May going for $6,200, blowing up comic fam an increase of 99 percent now selling for twelve thousand three hundred and twenty two dollars this week it's been a while since we talked about tmnt number one and here it comes doubling in price in a 6.5 that is insane but the number one on this list the big daddy of them all another fantastic four key we're talking about fantastic four 52 the first appearance of t'challa the black panther Before we reveal the major price hike of this book this past week, let's tell them about how they can support both of our shows with the joint exclusive that we have done through Dynamite. That's right. You guys got to support the July Mystery Mail Call for the first ever Comic Tom Gem Mint exclusive, The Boys Number 1. That's right. Dynamite let us do a variant for their iconic first issue of The Boys by Garth Ennis. And we have an amazing Homelander variant drawn by none other than Ben Templesmith. Every box gets one version, not both, and there will be virgins being sent out at random. Just in time for July 4th. Comic fam, 
Support what we do. Link in the description. Boxes get shipped out at the end of July. And let's talk about some Wakanda goodness, some price hikes for the first appearance of T'Challa, King of Wakanda, the Black Panther. We have in August a 2.0, an entry-level comic book going for $300, up 137%. Now selling for $710. Jem, I still think this price is low considering other blue chip keys. That's true. I mean, it came a little bit later on. It's Fantastic Four 52. A lot of these blue chips are big number one issues, but Black Panther has proven himself to be a mainstay character in Marvel lore. Comic fam, what do you think about this list? Enter to win the Red Sonja set that we told you about by commenting, liking, and subscribing to the channel. And... As always, geek responsibly and stay minty fresh. Enough said. Comic fan, we got two other videos for you to check out. Make sure to keep up on the hot 10 list, the comics defining this generation of collectors, the mind-bending record breakers, and have a great week.